I travel to Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, a small beautiful town outside of Washington, DC. That is where I met Karen Townsend. Good morning, welcome. Nice to see I'm you. Karen Townsend. Karen, good to see you. A woman who has a wacky way of running a hotel, which is also her home. Let me tell you, I never expected to see the things I saw. Oh, oh. shit. Wow, but dusty. Do you sell these? We do. A convenience store complete with hideous dolls in the dining room. What is that? Oh, these are my famous baskets. There were baskets everywhere, including ones with bugs in them that were even up for sale. Yep, oh. that's private. I found her clothes locked up in a wardrobe in my room. It's like garments from the Civil War. The thing with Karen is, the person she trusts the most spends her time painting murals over destroyed walls and disturbing customers, and she's not even an employee. Didn't you have purple glasses earlier? Leave them alone. OK. What is she doing to your hotel? It doesn't then... go outside. I mean, it's not a hole to the outside. You can't just band-aid this place. Karen was so confused to why any of this was a problem including the food. That's a disaster. Disaster trout. Which was dreadful. It looks like a soup. It was in the fridge, and then they microwaved it. From the fridge to the microwave. Everything was frozen. You're just hoarding stuff, Karen. This is how much we need. We keep running out of stuff. And the kitchen was a disaster area. Are these TV screens? What are those? Microwaves. Oh, my God. Everywhere I turn, there's just junk everywhere. No organization whatsoever. You're boiling a burger. Why aren't you cooking it from fresh? We make them ahead of time. After learning the burgers were boiled, I honestly thought it couldn't get any worse. That's the rotisserie chicken. You get it from the freezer. Disgusting. But then I saw the frozen store-bought chicken that was being microwaved. That is the worst thing I've seen so far. I'm done. And I had to stop the madness. I'm so sorry, but you, as customers, deserve better. You're not going to act responsible for it. I will. We're shutting it down. As my journey continues at the Towns Inn, the staff has finally had enough. Gordon, this is the worst restaurant I ever worked in in my life. I need Karen to start opening her eyes because my time is running out to help her. You don't even think there's a problem. That's what worries me. The practices are so bad. I'm just so fucking down. You have to take responsibility. I'll do what I can do. Look at this shit. Look at this. <laughs> You gotta tell me that this is a good chicken. I've eaten it, like I said, yeah. This is crazy. You can't not go to the store and buy stuff and resell it. Can I? Aren't you aware of what you're doing? Do you actually care? Yes. You I do, do care. Which part of this hotel do you care? Every part. This is how delusional you are. That this is a good chicken. What's in this one here? Stuff that we Microwave? Yes, yes. What's that? Eggplant. So everything's just reheated the microwave? Yes. Yes. We're in danger of being shut down by the health authorities. I'm sorry, folks. Basically, I take responsibility. I'm sorry. I'm very ashamed and... I am fed up from not being heard. It doesn't matter what I say. Karen is going to do what she want to do. What's going on? Court, I'm just, I don't have no help, man. I told her she won't listen. I can't perform like this. I can't. I, I can only. I can't. You can't. I you just, can't. It's, 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 you're just, gonna get fucking arrested. I, I won't get arrested. Put in jail for killing some damn body. I, Gordon, this is the worst restaurant I ever worked in in my life. Practices are the problem. Right. The sort of, the way that everyone's walking around in denial. They are, but I'm there's not. No, but there's no standards though. You're not maintaining a level that they yeah. deserve. Yeah, I know that. I know that, Sheldon. So why have you become like a zombie and following her motions? I'm not. I was, I'm trying to fix it. Have you it. given up? No, I have not given up. I have not given up. You're just as bad as she is if you don't put your foot down and say no. I, I tell her no. No, 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 no. And she keeps on doing it. Someone I, needs to draw a line. I have drawn a line. 
it doesn't matter. I can only do so much, Gordon. This is not my place. Uh, my apologies, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry. Sorry. What a joke. Have you seen any of this stuff going on here? Do you have any idea what's going on? What's this? Pre-cooked bacon. Pre-cooked from when? It's dated. They, they do but it every day, just about. Right? No, they don't. When was that cooked? That's not today. If they did, honestly, let's see what it says. 1031. We're in November the 6th now. This is insane. Look at that in there. Don't you drain that, or it just sits there in its blood? And in here? That's a freezer. God damn it. What is that? What's that noise? That's the fan. What a nightmare. <sighs> hey, Karen, you've got no idea that this is going on like this? What is that in there? That's dishwater. No, that's french fries in there. Fries? Why is the water so dirty? Nobody didn't change it. Sorry? Nobody didn't change it, sir. But you're cooking fries from there tonight in that water. I saw them fill up the fryer twice. It sucks. Where'd you get the ham from? She bought it at the store. Holy crap. It's a spiral cut. They cut it and put it in here. And then uh, use it for side of ham for breakfast. When was the last time this was clean? Ah, uh, last year when I cleaned this, Chef. Last year when we cleaned the oven. We're in November. Last year. Yes, sir. I asked Karen, I said, Karen, we need to shut down to be, we, we gotta, we gotta do maintenance. Look at the mess. Why have you let it go like this? I didn't know that they were doing things that were not Karen, that proper. You? No, but let, listen to me, Jeff. This stuff bullshitting the guy, okay? Let's tell him the truth here, okay? I asked for some new equipment. I can't get no new equipment. Why not? I've been here for four years. I've been asking for new equipment. I can't work with this shit here. Look, look at that. I'm fucking pissed. I've been asking for this. I asked for new equipment. How long do you think this shit's gonna last? It ain't gonna last forever. I'm just so fucking fed up with every damn thing. I can't get no help. Me and Jill pulled you out of this. And now I asked for some help with some equipment that you can't spend on it, but... But right. this is working, you, and that's auction. working. Look at this shit. Look at this. <laughs> Part of the damn line. I'm just so fucking fed up with every damn thing. Look at this shit. Look at this. Part of the damn line. You can't expect to work in this. Are you greedy with the money? I'm in debt. I'm barely breaking even. Let's get real. They're at their yeah, wit's end. Is. They're done. They're finished yeah. and they're a spent force. I've been cooking for 20 years and I never had this problem. We have to step up. I mean, look at the kitchen. It's atrocious. Look at this here. Would you work in this? I do. <laughs> um, so funny with you. No, it's not funny. I do but I laugh. Look at the mess. Can't do no. it all. You own this place. But I delegated the restaurant to them. But and Karen, then... the bottom line is you have no idea how to run a restaurant, and all you're doing now is blaming the staff you put no, in no, there. No, no, I'm just. No, but they're taking yeah. the heat, yeah. and I, your I... problems aren't their problems, but they become yeah. their problems because look at the mess. Well, you don't even that's... think there's a problem. That's there what worries me. Practices are so bad. That's what I try to say. Why has it got this bad? You have to take responsibility. You're ignorant, oblivious, and delusional. I'll do what I can do. It's not good enough. I'm going to my room. Excuse I've me. seen enough shit for one night. Oh, man. Fuck it.
Thank God somebody else sees it other than us. This is what we deal with on every day. It's nothing I lost different. my damn hat. It's in there. I'll find it. I know where you threw it. You know, we could have done this without Ramsey. I mean, no. anybody can. No, not with their, not yeah. with their. I don't have, I, what do I spend on myself? Now, I'm doing the best I can. I borrowed money and went out and bought more refrigerators. Then, oh, we need freezers. I know I care, I know I, uh, why, So don't. Why didn't we just tone down the menu? The menu is what you all do. You could have told me that these are the things we I need to do and this is it. why. I will tell you, Jeff, I have no stake in that menu. I thought that's what you and Jill wanted. No, that's well, not it. I wanted to tone down. We just have to agree to disagree me. then. And Jeff, you get your way. You work hard. I agree. No, I'm just saying. But over the year, you have averaged 44 hours a week. No, that's, I'm not, I'm not and you're paid for a manager. That. No, no, I'm that's just not saying. That many hours. No, Karen, no, I'm not even talking about that. Jeff. Yeah, but that, that's. I'm listening, Jeff. You're not hearing me, Karen. What a mess. I mean, one of the worst dates of a kitchen hotel inn I've ever seen in my entire career. Also, a owner that is delusional, and she's convinced herself that the place is run properly, and, you know, I'm really uneasy about just being in here. The smell is appalling. Everything feels dirty and just... And I'm not convinced that even the bathrooms are that clean. I'm run a quick test. Quick bacteria test. There's a communal bathroom that I am uncertain about. When this thing reads 30, it indicates that it's a sort of um, a, a decent level of hygiene. Basically, it's clean. Anything over 30, then it gets into the danger zone. <sighs> this is where the smell is really bad in here. There's crap everywhere. It's just so unhygienic. Undo that. I just want to. Doesn't feel clean. To get a good reading, rub the swap underneath the mat. The smell under here is appalling. In these crevices, there's dirt. That is gross. That is gross. That is disgusting. Snap it, let the liquid go down. Give that a shake. In. Holy crap. No, no. I'm unconvinced that this place is clean. Everything smells. It's very difficult for you to identify the smell, but in here, it really stinks. So, just. It's just the smell from here, it stains everywhere. And what scares me is the fact that the kitchen took a year to get cleaned. God knows what this tub so pretty gross. Now, pop that in there. I'm not sure when this place was cleaned properly. In. Oh my God. Karen. Karen in here. Karen, just come upstairs, please. Two seconds. Please, let's go. Quick. Come in. I've just done a swab test with the carpet. I told her the smell is gross. Anything above 30, you're in the danger zone for unhygienic practices. And it's not fit for customers. What do you think the reading is? 100. 100. 50? 50. 60? 70. 70. 803. 803. Oh my god. Oops. 803. Oops. Burn it. That's not oops. That's a oh no. 803. Wow. This is just the carpet. You can't be that bad. We get a lot of bikers, bicyclists Karen, and hikers. You're paying $130 get out of bed and step on a disgusting, stinking carpet. It smells like there's crap all over the floor. Probably because there's crap on the floor. Probably. Could be. What does that mean, could be? My first shift here, you were in the bathroom, and I think you had an accident on the floor, on the mat. What? Oh, my God. I mean, yeah. There have been times when I have had diarrhea, but it doesn't happen very often. But 
um, no, I, I didn't realize that there was that problem. Fucking hell. All day, both of you have been in denial. Not one of you told me about the problems. Not one of you have taken any formal responsibility. You were happy to serve that food to me lunchtime. You were happy to mosey around and piss around on the walls and paint silly pictures. This is a travesty. This is shocking. Your staff knows it, but you two are oblivious. But the rest of the room is dusted and clean. It is. What? It's not, he's, not focused, he's not talking about the room. It's not about the rug. It's not about the food. It's about the whole picture. Look at the mm -hmm. cage. You're yelling. Am I not allowed to yell, Sarah? Because someone has to, because you're not. He's trying here to help us. Stop being in denial. It's not about the rug and this perfectly dusted thing that this is not going to make a difference. The whole picture, the whole thing. What are you scared of, Karen, admitting? Well, I'm working 16 hours but, a day yeah, and spending every time and money. That. These are rooms, too, that I get positive yes. feedback about. Oh, my god. I'm, I'm serious. A lot of positive. There you go again. No, you can't be that. No. No, I, no, I, 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 I want to fix things. I am not sleeping in this dump. I'm done. I'm out of here. Oh, man. You can't leave. I'm not staying in here. Ramsey, don't go. Karen, this is a travesty that you're paying $130 to get out of bed and step on a disgusting, stinking carpet. You're in the danger zone for unhygienic practices, and it's not fit for customers. We get a lot of bikers. Bicyclists Karen. and hikers. What are you scared of, Karen? Admitting. Well, I'm working 16 hours but, a day yeah, and but that's spending your excuse. every time. You fall back on that. These are rooms too that I get positive yes. feedback about. Oh my God. I'm, I'm serious. A lot of positive. There you go again. No, you can't be that. No. No, I, no, I, 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 I want to fix things. I am not sleeping in this dump. I'm done. I'm out of here. Oh man. You can't leave. Ramsey, don't go. I'm not staying in here. Is this your office in here? That's my living quarters in my office. Your yeah. what? I live there. You live in here? Yeah. What? Let me show you. What? I saw the office sign on the door, but you live in here? Right here. This is my bed. I just uh, sleep here, like this. Are you kidding me? Every night you sleep in here? Yes. Is there a mattress there? No, it's just quilts, cover on them, sheets. You sleep on a board? Mm-hmm. In the winter, I could go upstairs, but I choose not to. I choose to stay here. And which bathroom do you use and shower? And I use the ones upstairs. Mm-hmm. What's the room next door? Oh, that's the beverage area. And then beyond that's the kitchen. The beverage area? Mm hmm The keg is right on, the kegerator is right on the other side there. And then that's the beverage that's cooler the... right oh there. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. So I, I sort of sleep in the kitchen. This is crazy. I love it here. There's no place in the world I would rather be. You're not doing one thing right. You have lost it completely. And you've convinced yourself, in amongst the chaotic mess that you live in, that it's all right. It's not. It's absurd. This is no way for a lady to sleep and live and eat. You shouldn't be living in a kitchen. There's not even a fan or an air-conditioned room. And it's true. a tiny cubby hole yeah. cluttered with your junk. Are you OK? I think so. I mean... This is not normal. Well, what's normal in... What's normal? Seriously. I can't even start to think about helping you when you're in such denial. Mm. What the fuck? The next morning, I woke up not wanting to give up on the town's inn seeing how bad the kitchen was and learning that it wasn't clean for over a year. 
I hired a professional cleaning crew to not only declutter, but to scrub down the kitchen as well. Crap everywhere. Good morning. Uh, morning. Not about being good. So. Um, well, could be better, could be worse. Yes. So were you, were you sleeping? Ah, uh, I was. I've got a headache. I don't You've know got a why. Headache again. <laughs> I haven't had a headache since I've arrived. Uh, I'm still unconvinced where I'm going with you and this business. However, I want you to do something. All right. Something that you haven't done properly in a long time. And take that. Yes. And start packing. Ah. Uh, where I'm am not, I going to go? I'm not messing around. I haven't got time to mess around. OK, but where? Don't worry about that. I just want you to start packing All up. All right. Quickly. I've got enough boxes. I'm you moving fast. You know how fast. important this is, yeah? I do. No, I'm... Time is of the essence. I need you to start packing. And I'm... I'm sorry. Start packing quickly. I'm worried about Karen not listening to me, and I don't think she realises just how bad the business really is. I reached out to her son, Jason, the majority owner of the inn, who has the most to lose if Karen fails to turn it around. Jason, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Yourself? Yeah, very well, thank you. Jason Townsend, yeah, nice to meet you. Take a seat. Uh, first of all, what a beautiful place. Yeah, I mean, it really is. Gorgeous. Yeah. I've fallen in love with this area uh, beyond belief. Um, unfortunately, I haven't fallen in love with the inn. I'm shocked at the setup and what's happening to your mum currently. Yeah. Do you have any idea how bad it is? I think I have a sense, but obviously I'm not here on a daily, regular basis, so yeah. don't appreciate the in and outs of it. She's in denial. I'm trying to explain things to her uh, in a very calm way, and she's just refusing point blank to understand the logic. I think her, her vision has been both her blessing and her curse in the sense of it's what's allowed her to drive through this and persevere, but it's also what puts her in denial. Have you seen where she sleeps? Yeah. Does that make you feel happy? Not at all, not at all. I mean, we bought this with two main motivations, to let her develop this end business, but also have it as grandma's house, and it's not. We went into this looking at it as, as obviously we want it to be some type of investment, but we didn't have a particular game plan beyond just rent out the space to mom. And we want to see it do well, not just to make money, but so that she really can have a life here. And it's just been triage since day one. That's no way to live. No. Has this become a burden on your family now? Or because... Yes, it has. It's because we're concerned for, for her. Uh, it, it, it's a financial burden. This lady wasn't your mother and she was renting from your property, you'd be a lot more severe in the way that place has been handled. We all bought this in part with, uh, with our hearts and not just our heads. And it's, it's that balance between wanting to respect her desires to, to, to make this business what she wants it to be, but also realize that if it's not going to be a, a profitable business and if there's going to be a cost, not just financially, but physically and emotionally, we need to, we need to shut it down. Now, this is your mum. You know, this is not a cousin or a niece or a nephew. This is your mum. So um, she needs to hear that. It's affecting you personally, financially. It could drag your family down. You're not her safety net. Yeah. I need you to have a word with her and how we're not prepared to move forward unless she's going to commit to change. I'm talking long-term change. Mm -hmm. She needs help, yeah. and she needs help urgently. I think I overloaded this one. After spending time this morning with Karen's son, we both agree, in order for the business to succeed, he needs to confront his mum that a major change needs to happen. Well, Karen, um, first of all, um, I spent this morning catching up with Jason. Oh, OK, good. And just trying to get him up to speed with what I've been discovering. Mm -hmm. You know I'm not happy. And I think deep down inside that you can't be happy in this current existence. So I want you to listen to Jason. As you know, we've been talking a lot about what's going on here, why we're here, mm -hmm. what we want with the business. Mm -hmm. You're my mom. 
but you're also my, my tenant. And so I have two main goals and objectives with this place. And uh, one is, is a financial one mm -hmm. uh, for your sake, for my sake, for our family's sake. And then my second objective is to um, encourage and support you and your life. You're not just an innkeeper, you're my mom, you're, you're a grandma. And for us to enjoy all those things, we have to, I think, make some changes here. It's not sustainable financially, emotionally, and, and, and physically. I just don't see the business in such a negative light as you do. I, I look out my but window. you realize most people I, do, yeah. I, I look out my window, and there's the Potomac River and the train station. You can't see out the window, my darling. Oh, I can't. Above it. Okay. But even even the bags of clothes yesterday, and mm -hmm. now the boxes of clutter. People don't live like this. You, you, you have to get out of there, and you have to start living your life completely different to what you've been doing. I'm not here for three months, Karen. I'm here for a short time mm -hmm. to give you everything I've got to get this place fixed. And if you can't listen to Jason, and you're not prepared to listen to me. I'm not asking you any longer. We're all working for the same goal here. I, yeah. I'm listening. I, I, I'm mm -hmm. telling you, it needs to stop. For your sake, for my sake, for our family's sake, I can't keep renting the house out to you if we can't get a business that is consistently profitable. The place is in jeopardy, and there's not one element functioning properly. And your business is going to take Jason's family down if you don't sort this out. Um, I don't want to burden my children at all. So that, that is something that is high priority for me. But you have to come to terms with yourself that it's broken, it's wrong, and you have to change. I, and I'm willing. Whatever you propose, I'll try. Otherwise, it's game over. Let's move forward. I'm agreeing to help. I'm going to put a plan in place, but uh, you, you can't continue the way you're doing it. You know that. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Gordon. Thank you. Do you know what his plan is? I have no idea. After Karen packed up her belongings, I had my team start the renovation process while I found a place close by for Karen to move into. Hi, Karen. Are you well? I'm very well, thank you. Good. Let's step mm -hmm. inside. Something I'd like to uh, All right. show you. Come in, please. What a lovely place. Do you like it? I do. What do you like about it? Um, well, it's not cluttered. <laughs> it's not cluttered, is it? Yes, I like that. When I saw where you've been living for the last 12 months, mm -hmm. I was appalled. You shouldn't be going to bed on a piece of wood. I know. You shouldn't be doing that. If we're going to make a change, then you have to step back. I and I mean step back from the business. Mm -hmm. And that means giving yourself some space. So I've done something, mm -hmm. and I'm paying for it out of my own pocket, and I've rented this space for you for the next couple of months, <laughs> two months. Two months, OK. Two That's months. great. Give yourself a break. You can relax. Watch a bit of TV. I haven't had a television since 1993. So this is really a big change, yeah. So since 1993. Well, even if you're not going to watch TV, mm -hmm. read. Oh, relax. I can do. And just mm -hmm. take in the view. Mm -hmm. And if you decide to move back in there and you convert one of the rooms and it's got an ensuite bathroom, that's all fair and well. But then you need to separate the difference, mm -hmm. not in a box. I like this. I feel comfortable here. Uh, have a look upstairs. There's a, a beautiful bedroom there and a full-size bed. All right. <laughs> There's a ensuite bathroom and I see. a wardrobe to yes. yourself. Big bathroom. Very nice. I could go to sleep right now. Wake me up in two hours. We've got work to do. Oh, OK. All right. <laughs> that, that was comfortable. 
Um, Karen, you need to you need to start thinking about being a boss, being an owner. With that comes certain responsibilities. What was it like for you to be an owner? What, what's the important? Well, the important thing was serving the guest and trying to nurture a good relationship with my employees. Right, that means setting an example, yes? Yes. And being the face of the inn. Yes. Right. What do you think is the most important thing about being the face of a business? Having a presence. Yes. Standing out like an owner. OK. You need to walk this historic town looking like an innkeeper, polished. Okay. Now, I feel bad about asking a lady to glamorize herself, <laughs> so I'm not trying to be detrimental. It's just okay. I'm going to send you off for a makeover. OK. When was the last time you went and had a facial, got your hair done and bought a new dress with a, a bright color? I don't think I've done that since I was 13 years old. When was the last time you went for a blow dry? Never. I mean, I, I have a blow dryer, but I, I never done. go to a salon. Right. Mm -mm. When was the last time you had your nails done? Never. Mm -mm. Never? Correct. And that was never a priority for me, oh, but you're, you're But we're going to make it. Yeah, we're okay. going to make it a priority mm -hmm. because it's about you. Mm -hmm. It's a business. You have to front it, and that, mm -hmm. that comes with an image. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're up for a change. I want you to feel better. I want you to enjoy your life. I want you to appreciate what your team can do for you and hopefully just break the mold a little bit. 100%. You're happy with this? I'm ready to enjoy Good. it. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Uh, I have a security deposit here, so it's a rental. Okay. No murals. All right. Yeah? We'll leave it the way we found it. Thank you. See you shortly. All the best to you. Yeah. Do you want me to turn on the TV for you or not? Uh, not yet. <laughs> I'm going to take this one step at a time. YouTube? Um, I've seen a few things on YouTube, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. Instagram? Never. But my granddaughter is teaching me. Selfie? Taking a picture of myself? Oh, never. Uh-uh. Tinder? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Welcome to the dark ages. <laughs> Enjoy. This was one of the toughest makeovers my team has ever taken on. We had not only moved Karen out of the town's inn, but packed up all her clutter before transforming the space. Good morning. How are you feeling? Excited. 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 Yes. The sun is shining, and there seems to be a new, bright breath of fresh air on the town's inn. We're missing somebody. Karen. We are. She's been busy over the last 24 hours. I'm hoping you notice a change. Oh, my God. I don't even dress like this to go to church, do I? <laughs> now, somebody's looking like an owner of an inn. Yes. You look amazing. For someone with an Amish Mennonite lifestyle, well, yeah, I look radically different. <laughs> you look amazing. Wow. You look so different. Karen, you look good. Yep. Really good. Are you ready to go inside? I've been dreaming of this moment. Right. So, yeah. um, follow me. Let's go. Come on, all of you. <gasps> oh. What's missing? My bed. Karen's bed. <laughs> Isn't this what a inn should look like? Yes. A tiny little convenience store that is bright and modern and everything is on view. And even if you're not staying in the inn, guests will come in and buy stuff. You can sell stuff properly. It's a proper little boutique. I'm overwhelmed. Um, it looks amazing. Amazing. Wow. What Gordon has done is phenomenal. The store here looks great. It's like walking into a whole nother place. Please. All right. Whoa. Gone is the dust. Well oh my done. goodness. Yes. Well done. Look at that. Beautiful design. Beautiful. When I walked in this dining room first off, it was dreary yes. and laden with junk. And now we have a proper dining room. Yes. Oh, lovely. Look at the all-day menu. Well, the menu hangs on the wall. It's written daily according to what you've got available, Jeff. Yes. And when we run out, we run out. We tear it off and we start again. If you turn around, you'll see the custom artwork on the wall. Please do not paint over that. I will not. I will promise, I promise you. Promise. No problem. That I love it. That's the only mural we need on the wall. Just that. Enough is enough. Yeah. 
Right, you ready to see upstairs? Yes. Yeah. Oh. yeah. As you come up, have a little look at the hallway first, please. Oh, wow. Go to the baskets. Anyone wants to do a little bit of work, a little bit of writing, can sit here. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Jump in. Everything's going to <gasps> Jump in. Oh, my, oh my God. God. This is the photography room. That's right. Oh, my God. Oh, what a vision. I can't believe it's the same oh, room. New sheets, new bedding, and a new carpet. It's beautiful. <laughs> <gasps> wow. Oh, my God. No more murals on the wall. We have a nice, stunning wall. I love it. No more Brillo pads in the wall. They've gone. <laughs> I love it. And you have your very own wardrobe. <laughs> no padlock on it. <laughs> How nice is that? Yes, you can use a wardrobe. It is exquisite. My family thinks I'm so set in my ways that I'm not going to like any of these changes, and I'm going to go right back to the old way. I know that's what they're thinking, and they couldn't be further from the truth. My team has spent the last two days cleaning out the kitchen by getting rid of the microwaves, refrigerators and freezers. I've created a much smaller menu that is manageable for the kitchen staff to execute. Please, take a menu and pass them on. Oh, wow. oh I love <laughs> what do you think? Could it be more beautiful and appealing? Isn't it? Mm -hmm. yes. Now, let's be real. The kitchen is tiny. So, a small, dynamic menu as the seasons change, we go through to spring, and some of them will increase on a daily special only according to what business is about. That makes okay? sense. <laughs> and so we're not buying unnecessary, and we're not adding 10 more appetizers and entrees on there just because we want to look busy. No. Keep it plain and simple. Keep it plain, delicious, and simple. Let's go through the dishes. A high street burger. No water. <laughs> uh, no water. No. Uh, beautiful pate, wonderfully seasoned. <laughs> a griddle in there to sear and cook them to order. Chicken pot pie. Little modern twist on a salad niçoise, but we've done it with salmon. Yeah. Homemade granola. Seasonal berries. Cheap and easy to put out that tiny kitchen. And then, of course, the mac and cheese. It does not go in the microwave. What's that? I don't exactly know what that. What's that? The sports bar of microwaves has gone. Yes. 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 <laughs> Um, visually, what do you think? It's yeah. beautiful. Simple oh, my and God. fast. And it takes a big load off in the kitchen. Yes. And we're not buying frozen, it's all fresh. Right, knife and fork, yes. and have a little taste. Oh, man. Mm. That is good. Oh, my. That's like mama's macaroni and cheese. People will drive from Washington, D.C. to come oh, here oh, and eat this way. So good. Tonight, the Towns Inn relaunches the inn and the restaurant. Right, how are we feeling? Good. Are we ready? Awesome. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Tough week, but it's been instrumental. Let's put this place back on the map, OK? Push the freshness of the menu. I don't want anyone panicking. There's nothing we can't do on the menu. Any issues, we talk about it. If we talk to each other, we prevent mistakes happening. If we shut down, things will happen without us knowing. Wow. Karen, anything you'd like to say to the team? Thank you, and I'm looking forward to moving forward. There you go. Thanks. 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 Good luck. Thanks. Let's go, guys. Thank you. Let me help you down the stairs. Thank Good you. to see you. Well, look at the town's in. Look at that. You're checking in, it looks yes. like. Immediately, the guests see the changes in the dying room and the rooms. Yeah, it's beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Yes. Very nice. I love this bed. This is pretty nice. Oh, look at this. You got a nice armoire. And throw our stuff in here. How do you like the changes? Looks good. This I can definitely say this is way better. Way better. Than what I left. This is definitely an improvement. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Cheers. Cheers. New restaurant town. That's a burger with French fries, BLT, and a mac and cheese. Great. The kitchen is functioning more efficiently with a smaller menu, and is preparing the dishes cooked to order. And Karen is overseeing the inn as an owner, and successfully treating this place like a business for the first time. How's everything so far? I heard you like this food. <laughs> Order in, please. Yes, I got okay. five minutes on the burger, chef. And we got two orders of fries. Fine, nice and crispy, the fries, and seasoned beautifully, yes? Yes, sir, chef. Well done. That is outstanding. So now we have a place to come in the wintertime. Good, so you're going to come back. Yeah, we're That's locals. Great. What does it mean, a small little local bistro to the town? How good is that for you? Actually, it's huge. Uh, we need more local bistros like this. We're really great. excited to have it. <laughs> good to see you. Take care, good night. Oh, 
Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. It's OK. Good night. Happy customers. Wow. I'm off. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Don't lose that passion. I won't. Yeah? Continue enhancing this kitchen and stick together. Yes. Uh, you're strong together, you two. We yeah? will. OK. Thank yeah. you, Gordon. I love you. <laughs> yeah, take care. We'll see you soon. <laughs> right. See you soon. Look after each other. Aww. We will. OK? Tonight proved that this place can work. The potential is incredible. The locals are dying to see this place at the forefront of this amazing town. The area is historic. Make sure you're in follows down that line. Karen, I know changes are going to be hard. I know you're going to resist. But you cannot afford to go back. You've got to go forward. So I know how much this means to you. And I know what kind of jeopardy is at stake if it doesn't work. So think of the consequences. It's not just you. Mm -hmm. It's your son, your son's mm -hmm. family, and the legacy that you want to continue mm -hmm. with. So I'm leaving you all the tools. Push forward. Mm -hmm. Promise right. me you're not going to go back to your old ways. No, no, this is more fun and more effective. And right. I just have seen the positive response from everybody. You, you did the, the, the groundwork here. Thank you. So thank you. You have an amazing inn. Yeah. OK? Uh, amazing location, beautiful Do not village. move those clothes back in from Lamont's basement. Uh -huh. Get rid of this stuff, yes. let it fly off the shelves, mm -hmm. and start enjoying. getting mm -hmm. this place back on the map. Mm -hmm. And enjoy that lovely little cottage. Take time out and spend time with the grandkids and mm -hmm. just let the business breathe. Yeah. Promise me. Yes. Promise. I promise. Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right. <laughs> Gordon's visit has been extremely educational. This is good. This is right. This is what it should be. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I want the end to be successful, and I think it will be now. Take care now. Thanks, Karen. Good night. Wow. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, come back. <laughs> come back. Oh, I don't want to see him go. <laughs> Since my visit, Karen has continued to lease the house I had previously rented for her and has been listening to her staff to make positive changes. That is awesome. And her son Jason has gotten involved with the business to help Karen meet their goals and both are happy to report business is heading in the right direction. I'm visiting an inn in Massachusetts that's been run by a dysfunctional couple. I love you so much, but you suck as a business partner. He's lost. I have no idea what I'm doing here. And she's lost it. <sighs> Just wanted to keep it together tonight. And with the staff suffering as well, what's the worst thing she's ever done to you? Smack me on the back of the head. I'm not even sure if I can get through to them. The whole operation is screwed. What do you think we should do? Close. Come on, nice Nestled in the heart of scenic New England lies the small industrial town of Southbridge, Massachusetts. It's home to the Vienna Inn and Restaurant. Husband and wife, Jonathan and Lisa Kroc, have owned and operated the inn since buying the property back in the year 2000. Jonathan had this crazy idea of creating the Vienna as an Austrian restaurant and bed and breakfast. She said, have you been drinking? No, not yet. <laughs> we try to transport people and to give them that feeling of being in Vienna without having to fly there. When people come in and they stay here for the first time, they think that Jonathan and Lisa are a very gracious host, charming, the perfect married couple. But if you dig a little bit deeper and you stay a little bit longer, find out it's quite a different story. Lisa is an emotional person. She does get upset often. She will just, you know, explode, and she can't help but be upset. She's over the top. My beautiful wife, my boss, sometimes she's not so nice to me. Why do you always have to dress like a goddamn, like, bum? There has been a time where I called her a psycho bitch, because she was being a psycho bitch. Clean up, man. Wait. I'm done with this. I don't feel like Lisa is authentic. When she's crying, I don't feel like she ever means it. 
Jonathan and Lisa live in a room at the inn. You can hear them screaming at each other, and you can hear it in the dining room, so there's no boundaries. They'll come down after the shift at the end of the night, and they'll have cigars, have some drinks. The environment can quickly become unprofessional. She'll go up to a table and ask them about like their sex lives. You are good looking. We don't get that many locals at the Vienna. There's like a lot of things that people think in town about the Vienna, and I think it's become a little taboo. You have uh, those rumors going around. People say, oh, the Vienna, they're all swingers. It's a big brothel. It's just, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. That being said, we're very friendly people. Very friendly. People from the outside think the Vienna's doing very well and we're very prosperous. But somewhere in there, we're losing. They're dragging us down with them. And if they want us to help them, they, they need to help us. The Vienna is our home, has been for 13 plus years. And, you know, it's hanging by a thread. And this 5.30 at table five. We're walking right in. We want to be ready for it. Look at this place. My God. What happened to him? He didn't last very long, did he? He found our cat. <laughs> huh? Bloody hell. Dead cat and a cabbage. Isn't that funny? Good morning. Hello, welcome. Nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. Gordon, first name is? Melissa. Melissa. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Lisa Crock. Lisa, nice to see you. You don't look very happy. I do. I, uh, oh, it's it's, it's my resting face. Wow. Um, yes, welcome to the Vienna. I'm so happy to be here. What happened to the cat? <laughs> Poor thing. Cat got run over. Oh, I see. And you got it stuffed? For Halloween. Right. Actually, better to see you now. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, love the attire, by the way. Thank you. Everyone wears this. Wow. How much are the outfits? About $300, $400. Three hundred dollars. Average, you know. They get their own. I mean, they're their own dresses, you know. Oh, you buy your own uniforms? Yes, yes. they do. Stop it. We do. Well, they have them for many years, and it reminds them to not gain here. weight. <laughs> wow. So, who designed the place? Well, uh, my husband and I. And whose idea was it to buy it? Uh, my husband. So it wasn't yours. It was not my idea. Actually, very much against it. Wow. Uh, uh, why were you against it? It was very overwhelming. I had two small children, but probably uh, after I lost my mind the first year, I think we started to get a hang of it. And who's Austrian? Are you from? My husband's half Austrian oh, and see. Polish. Right. I, I'm not nearly as exotic. I'm very no. American. Right. And he's the chef, right? So he runs the restaurant kitchen and you run the inn? Correct. And whose idea was the uh, violins on the table? Mine. Well, where did that come from? That was actually from an estate sale down the street. A dead man's violin? No, yeah, no. why not? I don't want to sit across a table with my wife and look at a dead man's violin. Well... A bit freaky, no? I don't know. What would you rather look at when you see the Vienna? Her. Who's her? Uh, my wife. Oh, your wife, yes. Yeah. But you have to have something in to make up that white space. What would you suggest? Uh, my wife. <laughs> You're going to put her on the table? That's kind of scandalous. I'm so fucking confused. Dead man's violin. What about some flowers? Bloody hell, is this place always as clustered as this? And who's that there? A Prussian family, of course. That was uh, Friedrich, that uh, their family all was murdered. Uh, murdered? So hungry. Yes. Wow, so dead man's violin, mm -hmm. uh, murder on the wall. Um, great story to uh, encourage a nice, warm, welcoming dinner. So, um, why don't I check in upstairs? You can do that right now. Yes, okay. please. Yeah, why okay. not? Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. wow. Interesting indeed. Just a clutter. Your bedroom's over here. Rocking chair? Where's that from? That's actually the first no. piece I ever refinished. Wow. So you're quite an antiques hoarder. Room service. Yes. Oh, room service. Come in. Holy Come in. mackerel. Now, what we have here is some pulled boar. Shredded. Oh. Shredded. Shredded. Yes. Right. And then you have a little celery root right on top. Wow. And what's that? It's a little parsley. <laughs> Excellent. Um, well, <laughs> take one. Would you like me to have one? Yeah, of course. There's three, three pieces. Okay. Excellent. 
intro. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Uh, you're welcome. Oh, hold on, wait, wait. Let me put a little bit of the garnish on there. You want me to have that? Well, yeah, we'll have a little piece each. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Uh, what did you think of that, by the way? Celery root, really don't like it. The pull bore, maybe just a bit more salt. Wow, and what did you think of that? I think it's a nice little surprise for people when they come in to uh, mm. liven up their appetite. Ball was very watery. It was mm -hmm. very watery, I did And the that. bread was soggy, soaking wet. Soggy. Mm. From the celery root. Mm. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. Please pass on my uh, comments to the chef. I definitely will. There we go. Oh dear. Okay, wow, and who designed these bedrooms? I designed everything. You designed it? Mm -hmm. I wallpapered wow. it as well. Uh, seriously? What's this? That's a, another closet. What do you mean another closet? I don't have a closet in my bedroom. That's a closet that we have because there's an area but, over here for guests to use. But where am I gonna hang my clothes? Right over here. But, you don't need an entire closet. So if you need clothes out of your closet, you I come in my bedroom. Ahead. Do you have the key on you? I do. Can I see inside? I'm just I'm a bit freaked with locked doors in my bedroom. Gosh. Really? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you. It's, it's right here. Oh, it's there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> just my closet. Holy crap. Stop yeah. it. Stop it. Seriously? All my stuff. It's like a garage sale in a closet. That's why we keep a lock on it. Well, I've got no interest in wearing any of the garments, but thank you. You sure? I, I'm, I'm positive, 100% uh, okay. positive. <laughs> Bloody hell. What's the price of this room? This one is 220. dollars $220. Correct. Yeah. And I have to share my wardrobe with the owner. But what's through this room here? Well, that actually goes to my bedroom. So do you just walk in when you need to get some clothes? From here? No, but from um, your bedroom to my bedroom. Well, I only do that once or twice a week. And what's this? Wow. It's a, an antique purse that was actually found in the house, and we thought it was really neat to uh, be able to have. That's it's... for, that's a toothbrush holder in case you decide to take it along with you. That's a toothbrush holder? Or you could stick tampons in there if you really wanted to. <laughs> we do that. usually have those. Oh, they're not in there right now. There oh, you go. an old lady's case. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to think of clever ideas to make this feel like a historic inn. Historic? Mm. It's definitely historic. Oh, bloody hell, how old is that? You need that? Uh, no, it's just fascinating <laughs> to see what's in my basket. Thank you for that. Oh dear. Everything looks dated. I mean, first impressions, it looks very, very tired. What is all that? That's like right. somebody wants to throw roses right. on the bed. Oh, for God's sake. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> and then they go back in the drawer. I guess Once so. you've used them. Okay, well, I'll, I'll uh, look forward to seeing you downstairs. I'll have lunch. Super. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, Jesus. That's freaky. The owner's bedroom is literally a meter away. The place is so dated. What a mess. Fuck. Everything's just cluttered. What a mess. Look at this. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, seriously. Bloody hell. Paper is shit everywhere. More decorations. Terrible. Shall I sit here, darling? Right here. Have a Thank seat. you. You can uh, sit wherever you one? prefer. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get some food out. Want to get some food out? Yeah. What's in here? <laughs> no. Jesus. Lisa, there's junk everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Everywhere. Is the whole house packed like this? Of course it is. Why? It's crazy. Have you always been this bad? It's a new thing I'm coming at terms with. Right. <laughs> it's just a... But you do have a problem I, with it. Actually, no. I, I, I think I've actually gotten rid of a lot of things in you the past couple of years. Don't have a problem with everything I've just seen in the last 10 minutes. Wow. Oh, well. You go. Right, right, let's, well. uh, oh geez. Um, do you know how to say all these? How do you pronounce that? 
Sufkartafel. <laughs> you, um, you've been here a long time. You must right. know the lingo. Sufkartafel. A lot of people must point to what they want to order, right? Yes. Or just pick up the last line. How do you pronounce that? Uh, Konigsberger Klops. Wow. And how long has this uh, menu been running like this? Uh, since the beginning. Oh, 13 years ago. Yes. Stop. Yes. Seriously. Yes. Uh, let's start off with, go for the scallops. Okay. Let's do the beer batter, the sauerkraut. Yeah, let's go for that. Um, and Absolutely. throw the um, vegetarian mushroom ravioli in as well. Wonderful. Okay, great. I'll keep hold of the menu for now. Okay. Thank you. Sear it in first. Whoa. Yeah. Almost lost it. Regroup. Regroup. Where is Missy? I'll bring it right That's up. Mr. Ramsey's first. Red pepper beurre blanc. Yes, sir. Our seared diver scallops with a red pepper beurre blanc. Wow, thank you. And scallops are normally round, right? Yes, they are. We have beautiful sea scallops. I'm not sure why they cut it up today. No, nor am I. Oh, well, excellent. Okay. Thank enjoy. you very much. Looks like the dogs chewed them. I mean, seriously. That's rancid. What's up with that one? Excuse me? Would you like me to give me any comments back to the chef? Comments? Yeah, those shit. Thank you. Yeah, terrible. We'll have Val take care of it for you. Who's Val? Me. I like the way you talk about yourself in the third person. Sear diver scallops. Um, Tastes like shit. Tastes like shit, really? Wow, OK. Any specific kind of shit, or just? No. Diarrhea. No shit? Oh. These here are the sauerkraut and baktig. And are these uh, edible flowers or not? They are. Chrysanthemum seeds. They are. Mm -hmm. OK, great. Thank you. All right. Hmm. Dear, dear. They are terrible. I mean, the food is so dated. It's, it's extraordinary. They look like a pair of camel's bollocks. Hmm. This I have here is the mushroom cream. Delicious. Taro and cream. Wow. I mean, what a fucking mess. Mm. There she is. Fucking hell. Val. Val. Yes. Delicious. I mean, you're kidding me. No, no, I'm fucking delicious. Seriously. Really good. Seriously? Now, the flowers I'm all about. Ah, oh, you had me going there for a whole second. I thought it was all about the food. I, I... Maybe next course. Jonathan, the flowers are absolutely delicious. The flowers? And this menu doesn't change every decade. It's the same menu that's been on for 13 years. Jonathan doesn't change much. Editions. Oh, sorry, I asked you a question and Lisa always answers. Go on, you... you... Jonathan Seven. doesn't change much. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. No, you, you answer Melissa's question first, then I'll go back to Melissa. You said, this doesn't change but once a decade, and I said, Jonathan doesn't change much. Right. Um, you've been here a long time. You've seen the place uh, in decline. Um, what's the big issues here? A little disorganization. Um, things unclear. Yeah, uh, nothing consistent. Yeah. And, you know, one puts the other on edge, and we get the brunt end of it. Lisa's listening to every word you're saying. I, I can barely hear you. No, no, I was just talking to Miss. Okay, I'm sorry, do, I'll leave. No, no, do whatever you need to do. Um, what's the worst thing she's ever done to you? Uh, smack me on the back of the head and in front of the customers. Seriously? In front of the customers? Not hard, but still uh, demeaning. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah. Damn. So there was under seasoned? Over seasoned? Under seasoned. Really? Which? Everything. Wow. Um, where's Lisa? I will grab her for you right away, Mr. Gordon. And grab Jonathan too, as well, will you please? I will, Gordon. Yeah. And anyone else in the kitchen, please? Okay. Excuse me, Lisa, Jonathan. Yes. Can we meet up in front with Gordon? That's the most edible thing in here. Uh, right. Ooh, la. Um, first impressions. I look outside. Historic in. Unfortunately, you've misspelt that. It's prehistoric. Everything's so dated. I go up to the room and the room's shoddy. Jonathan, do you not think it's a bit weird that A, my door's open adjacent to your bedroom, but your wife's clothes are in my closet? I never thought of it that way, but I guess that is. It's odd. weird. That was shocking. You just served me one of the worst lunches I've ever eaten. And it was that bad I started eating the edible flowers. You can't be proud of what you've just served me no, and charged absolutely me. absolutely not. Absolutely not. You're correct. You clearly have given up. It tastes like it, and it feels like it. What do you think we should do? Close, because your heart's not in it. And I think your head's just in with the clouds. Embarrassing.
pretty fucking awful. It sucked. Caught me off guard completely. I mean, you knew he was coming. I did. Really embarrassing. I really thought we tried harder and. I let you down, I'm sorry. You did let me down. I'm really sorry. I always try to tell you that we need to change things, we need to make them sexier, and you never want to listen to me. <laughs> I've always wanted to change, and you always say I'm too random, and it's not. I'm not random. I'm trying to show you ideas and things that we can do differently. <laughs> Socks. He couldn't have cooked worse than he did. Can you pull my ankle? It hurts so much. I'm never gonna be able to walk tonight. Oh, God. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. We'll figure something out. He doesn't fucking listen to me, does he? Oh, I feel so good. I'm not really that upset. I'm just crying because I want to right now. I've heard rumors around town that the basement is known as a swingers hangout and is used for late night parties. So before dinner service, I want to take a look at what's downstairs. Wow, look at this. My God. Some really expensive stuff. This is crazy. I can't believe how much stock there is here. It's like they're spending the money in all the wrong places. Look at that, this place goes on and on. Oh my God. Please shout before entering the mineral spa. Mineral spa. Oh my god. This is like a dungeon. Dungeon for swingers. Tonight is crucial because I need to get my eyes on how Jonathan and Lisa are running the hotel, since both of them seem to be on different pages. Can I uh, get you beverages to start with? We're getting some wine. Okay. I was, I was thinking Cosmos, but wine is great. <laughs> There's so much stuff in here. I've never seen a kitchen so cluttered. It's been worse, believe it or not. How come the food just sits there? Right at the moment, our timing is really not at all good. What are these for, Jonathan? Those are little pre-meals, little crackers, little piece of cheese. Pre-meals. I give that to you to get rid of, please. Uh, to get rid of? Yeah, I eat trash. Oh. You can't serve that on yeah. that's a paper for customers to eat. You can't ask them to dip into a fucking doily with a cracker and then a flowering and mm, yum, 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 yum. It's just, no, it's a bit fucked up, Jimmy. You know I mean? It's not your place, but it's just a bit weird. You okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm okay. When were the chickens roasted? Two days ago. That's the last of them. Why do we roast them two days in advance? They're delivered twice a week. They're cooked off the delivery day. What kind of impression do you think you're sending out to your customers when that chicken's roasted two days before they come. I, 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 I... When do you think this chicken was roasted? You oh my it. goodness, I hope it was today. It was roasted two and a half days ago. I am not happy to hear that at all. That was going to be dry as a dog's bone. But anyway, uh, try to enjoy. OK, thank you so much. I don't feel well anymore. Thank you, I will try. <laughs> They've been coming for 12 years. You need to just seriously just focus on getting this night done. And they sit there all schmuck. I want to kick them out right now. Do you want us to take the food back? I mean, this is like so disappointing that you guys feel this way. I thought we were friends, and I, I thought you would have maybe told us if you felt the food sucked that much. You know, it's really, gosh, I feel, I feel like I want to pass out right now. Fucking hell. Um, so the lady you were just talking to over there had no idea her chicken was roasted two and a half days ago. It was roasted two and a half days ago? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, okay, fine. I mean, it's no. not my business with him. No, in the I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just, you two are so defensive. There's a thousand different ways to make spets. I'd like and, to do with that. I'm talking and, about the chicken. You know, I mean, I'd, I'd love to find out the problem. Chicken, way. I'm talking to you about the chicken. Well, we Making an excuse again. Nothing, nothing resonates with you, does it? Nothing. It does, certainly honey, does. It Absolutely, does. it all does. What 
in the hell? I just wanted to keep it together tonight. That's all. <laughs> Uh, crazy. Are you like manic or something? I'm manic. Yes, I am right now. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Uh, something between shitty and awful. What does it mean when you feel like an elephant sitting in your chest? Oh, you don't have a heart. You can't have a heart attack. Are you hungry, Gordon? What is this? That is bacon. Should be on a different shelf. And this here? Yeah. That shouldn't be thrown there either. What's that? Beer batter for the beer batter shrimp. Should be thrown out. And this one? Let me just stand that on top. Sure, put it right on top. What is all this? That was bacon. Oh, no, no, no. Well, that's OK. No, why is it in your fridge like this? I dropped it one shelf below. Instead of putting it where it belonged, I put it on the corner. Normally, these things are pretty orderly. This is a complete clusterfuck. And what's that? Corned beef. Let's, let's, get, let's get outside. Sure. Lisa, let's get outside. What is going on? The whole operation is screwed. The kitchen, shocking. The line, disaster. Cross-contaminated. Raw meat, cooked different, meat. Different foods, absolutely. Shit everywhere. And then the biggest asset, where all the money is, is downstairs in the wine cellar. Who's maintaining standards here? He is. I cannot believe what you've just done in there. I really enjoy it. You can't enjoy I that. I swear to God, I do. That's... I, I must be like cuckoo in the head or well, something. Well, you need help. Maybe. He does. You need to wake up. Fuck me. I think we can do this. I know we can do this. Yeah, but not just you and you. No. I want it to be you and I because you so don't listen to me most of the time. Like when I tell you, yeah. it's time to come home, Jonathan. It's yeah. time to fucking come to bed. And you just say, fuck you. Well, you know, fuck you now. Fuck you, Jonathan. Oh, yeah. I love you so much, and you're such a great guy, but you suck as a business partner. You really suck. Thanks. Do you want to recreate this? Do you want to get clean, divorced? Clean? I don't want to get divorced. Do you want to get divorced? divorced? No, I don't want to get divorced. Why has it always been your way? Because you know you more I, than I, me. I, apparently, I don't. I'm as stupid as you think I am, if not worse. <sighs> Thank God. Let's go in the back door. <sighs> Fucking me. OK, give me a drink. I couldn't get this down fast enough. That looks pretty good. All right. Have a nice night. <laughs> it's going to be OK. Thanks for being on the other side. We appreciate it. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> that bourbon was really strong. <coughs> Crap. Crying again? No, it's not really crying. It's just releasing. Release it. Lisa, can I have you and him together, please? Sure. Mm. I'm unconvinced. And I've never met a couple so undeserving of my time. And I think you, Lisa, you're just faking it. I'm just trying to... No, you Trying just... to get through the night tonight. No, you're acting. The crocodile tears are there. Next minute is a laugh. It's self-preservation. And it's the only way for me to get through the day. There's no heart. There's no feeling. There's a lot of heart. No, there's not. Uh, I love what I do. No. And what do you love? Drinking with your friends? I don't do much drinking. I'm not the party girl. He's the party boy. So there's no parties way on after service downstairs in the basement with the customers? Not in the past, like, 10 years. Jonathan, you've lost interest. I'm a mess. Yeah, you are. So the first thing I want you both to do is to pack a bag. I want you to get out of here. Start packing. After sending Lisa and Jonathan away for the night, I'm hoping they can start to realize the effects they are having on the Vienna. But before they return, I called a staff meeting. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I can get a better understanding of the damage that Lisa and Jonathan are doing. Um, I didn't get a chance to meet you yesterday, yesterday. I'm Jamie. Do the housekeeping here. OK, great. Let's get one thing right. I'm here to help. Having done my research, I mean, the one positive feedback I've had 
is about how good the staff are. Because I know, you know, just how bad things are. And having witnessed that service last night, uh, I'm appalled. Is it always like that? Yeah. Yes. yes. Screaming? Yes. yes. People at each other? I can hear them yes. in the dining room. I've had tables that have asked um, if everything was OK in the kitchen. We can't be expected to be professional all the time when they're not professional. After our shift, they'll, they'll sit down with the table and expect us to wait on them, hand them drinks until midnight. If we leave, they get upset. So guests stay here, and they're drinking downstairs in front of those guests, sometimes with the guests. Yeah. See, there's no separation between business right. yeah, and personal. When you're sitting here entertaining your table, she'll find something wrong that you're doing, and she'll come and point it out and at you right you in front of your table. Of table. Yeah. She's just rude. She texts me sometimes really rude text messages like, oh, you forgot this, or you forgot that, or why didn't you do this, and why wasn't this done? It's crazy. Another problem that we've really have been having is we don't have an actual payroll system. There's no payroll system. And then they'll say, yeah, I'll get you one, and you just never... Yeah. Ask him for your salary. We have yeah, to ask for Yeah, we have to ask for a Yeah, I got, I got 20 bucks right now. That's all I got right now, here. Yep. Tomorrow morning, I'll see you. They're drip-feeding your salaries. My bank does not take the checks. Neither does mine. When was the last time you had a staff meeting and discussed this? Never. Never. No. Uh, I'm sorry, but I want to put an end to all this. Here's what we're going to do. Um, they're arriving any minute now. And my message to them is if they're not prepared to bring in a level of professionalism and understand those boundaries need to be met on a daily basis, they're going to lose the in and they're going to lose you. Let me go and get them. I let myself continue to be abused. They need to know that it has to change and it can't just be brushed off anymore. Uh, I had a chat with the team. They're not in a good place, and you've abused them. There are no boundaries. They're your staff, and they need to be treated a certain way. Let's go to Jamie first. I'm really concerned about the abusive texts you send him. Why would you send him an abusive text? It's like, text? oh, you would send me a picture, like, oh, you forgot this, or you didn't do this right, you or this. You told me that you worked at a lot of other places and you knew how to clean. I, and I, then I, the toilets aren't cleaned and stuff. It's really important. But some of that stuff doesn't work. So it's like I'm sitting there scrubbing and nothing's coming up. And you'll be like, well, go do it again. And it's like, I'm trying, I'm trying to do what I can. None of these talented individuals get paid on time. I want to know why they don't get paid on time. Because I don't have a payroll system in place right now. Well, that's a fucking disgrace. That is disgusting. And then you want them waiting on you up until all hours of the early morning while they tidy up after your crap, and then you can't even be bothered to pay them on time. It's a, it's a mess. No, you are a mess. I need to say something, though, that almost every single person here, we've given them loans. You're lending them money to buy uniforms to work in your goddamn business. Right? That's absurd. Why? Why? Absurd to pay for a uniform? The business should be providing the uniform. Well, maybe we need to do that. Yes, you I do. I never thought about it that way. Whose business is this? I've tried to create here a place where people can come and, and, and relax and escape from their stressful lives. Escape from their stressful lives yeah. to hear you and Lisa scream at each other. Are you fucking kidding me? We don't always scream at each other, but what when I, we do, I'm... That's what maybe I... I that's the smallest that's, that's places. What we, you live here, so you've got no idea how many times you do it. The love, affection, and respect that they've shown you is extraordinary. And the sad news is, you both don't deserve it. I'm sorry. I will change. I just hope you, you guys want to continue. I just want to say thank you for your honesty, uh, loyalty. Uh, there's some other important people I want to introduce you to this morning. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Uh, so, Lisa and Jonathan, uh, I've asked uh, some ex-customers, uh, locals, to come and give you some feedback. Has anybody stayed there recently? We did. The room we stayed in, it had tools and screws and instruction manuals. Wow. So it's not just For the air conditioners me. and stuff, yeah. That's right, you're right. Madam, give us an insight to your experience, please. I do have to say, my husband ordered uh, 
scallops and they were raw. We returned them. The decor was very outdated and it feels very cluttered. You feel like you're locked in a closet. It's just overwhelming when you're trying to have a nice dinner. I would never come back there if things don't change. Okay. What do you guys think about the uniforms? It's a bit the much. The poor ladies were kind of revealing. Our server was the nicest person, mm -hmm. but I think it takes a lot away from them. So it doesn't need to be in your yeah. face. The reputation locally is crucial. What have you guys heard? I've heard that's a swingers hangout. I heard that as well. When I had mentioned the Vienna, they said that's where the swingers go. You eat downstairs and then you go upstairs, is what I was told. But you've heard this before. I've, we've, I've, we've heard, heard it, it for, street, we've heard it for 13 years. Yeah. But is this due to your late night drinking and the party? I don't think so. Fact or not, that's how yeah, you see it's just, it. You know, that's, you're you're uh, living there. Portrayed. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is that there are no boundaries. It's an oasis down there that has got a jacuzzi, a massage table. And if the word has gotten out around town, and then you're People being... misunderstood that room, and that's where it all started. I'm just saying it. Either a business or it's your home. There's no, there's no crossover. The mixed messages you're sending yeah. is your own fault. Because mm -hmm. you haven't been clear. I used to come to the restaurant probably every month or so. And I can tell you have a lot of like passion for your heritage, but it's not in the food anymore. If Gordon can help you take your heritage and the food and modernize it and you can progress with that, I'll come every Friday. Mark my words, it's a promise. Do you have anything to say, both of you, to these guests? Thank, thank, you. thank you so much for your honesty and input and uh, really, really appreciate it. We're going to be making some big changes to uh, address many of the things you talked about. The staff have been incredibly loyal. They haven't been treated the way they should have been treated. I'm undecided about these two, but I am committed to that team because I see what is at stake and the jeopardy they face going forward. Now, I've got some, something else important to sort out. After leaving Jonathan and Lisa, I moved forward with my plans to help renovate the inn. I brought in sommelier Dave Foss to create a beverage program. If you just have a look in here, I mean... That wine's fantastic. ...from the excessive infantry they weren't using. Oh, three. Oh, that's delicious. My team worked up to the last minute, transforming the many spaces at the Vienna. Wow. Oh. Wow, that is amazing. Holy smokes. This is beautiful. This is incredible. Bravo. The Vienna had no organization for managing their day-to-day -day operations. So I gave them the state-of-the-art system to help with all their hotel operational needs. Welcome to the Web Res Pro system. And this will help transform your business. It will link up to the POS system and it will give you data like you've never had before. Fabulous. You need to be organized from the infantry to the wage costs, to the salaries, to the POS systems, to the checking in and the checking out system. And the good news, guests can now book online. So this should relieve a huge headache. I could see that everyone was thrilled with the changes at the Vienna. Good. Have a good look round. But as I watched Lisa... Where's this stuff from? I noticed she was dissatisfied with the renovations. These are different chairs from the other ones, aren't they? No? I was just seeing if it was 100% cotton. It is. is that a pullout? No, it doesn't need to be a pullout. And right now, I'm worried where Lisa's head is going into relaunch this evening. Good evening. I can help you with your bags. First, let's get you checked in. While it was time to relaunch the inn and restaurant, Yep, we have an order. I provided the staff with brand new uniforms that go with the new updated menu that includes wine pairing and beer flights. First is going to be the grapefruit, then the second is going to be the pilsner. These are up here. Please get out of here, Lisa. Off the line. Actually, let's turn this lamp on. No light bulb. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, no light bulb in there. I just wanted to remind Don't worry on. about it. 
Okay. What, who's complaining about the light bulb? Oh, just making sure that they have enough look, light. Look, look. I was trying to turn it on and realized it later. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's focus on the big things. Are you always like this over little details like that? I like to have things feel right, and so <laughs> I'm feeling extra, like an extra need to make sure everything's right. That's all. OTT. Just a plusser. OTT. Probably, whatever that means. Over the top. Huh? Over the top. Oh, I guess I don't have to be so over the top now, do I? You do not. Yes. Jesus. What is wrong with her tonight? Do you think she's going to go back to her old ways when I leave? She might accidentally. Customer's coming. Welcome. While Lisa is nitpicking everything unnecessarily, the appetizer for table five. Oh, sorry. We didn't give you that yet? No, you no, didn't. Table five sausage. No? No. Jonathan oh, fuck. is lost in the kitchen and service is starting to suffer. What table number is this, please? That is table number 11. They're waiting on two flank steaks with it. Oh, where's the flank steak? Are they coming? Uh, moments. Moments, okay. uh, minutes. Who's cooking the flank steak? Come on, guys. We can do one four top at the same time, yes? Yes. I designed the menu around the size of the kitchen and the speed of both you working together. Yep. OK? <laughs> Come back for the flank. What the hell is this? Look at me, both yes. of you. Both of you. Cut the shit, OK? Look at me. You're yeah. more capable of doing four fucking main courses at the same time, especially when there's two of you. And one of those main courses is the same dish. We've got to talk to each other, but I'm not going to start sending one dish at a time from four top. Serious? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Jonathan, but look I mean, at me, hey, yes. look at me. I need some fucking effort from you a little bit. I need a little bit of respect and a little bit of effort from you, OK? Yeah, yeah? and look at me. You're yeah. the man holding this fucking thing together. You got it. And if you go down, the whole fucking place is going to go down. So I need you to step up, OK? I need you to talk a little bit, and I want four main courses at the same fucking time. Oh, and Jonathan, yes. you can get your mind set round four main courses at the same fucking time. Understand, we're serving one table at a time, and we're going to complete that table. Yes. Four main courses, three main courses, five main courses, we're going to talk together. Yes. Sausage okay. goes with what, the two soups? Yes. What's coming next? It's going to be uh, sausage, two carrot soups, and a fried cheese. Good. For table seven. OK, so we're talking now. Yep. Good. Carrot. Thank you very much. We have your flank steaks. Your wine is coming right away, OK? Your sausage. You guys are all sharing, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think the new Vienna will definitely attract a younger crowd. Oh my god. So beautiful. I'm super excited about the new changes, and I hope they'll last. I, do, I really do. Uh, right. We've had ups and downs, but tonight is a prime example of how good and how profitable this business can be. Customers loving the food. They love the decor. I'm leaving you with all the tools to get this place back to right where you wanted to go. I do want to ask you one thing. Sure. Is there anything that's happened this week that you're not happy with? Yes, I had expected the Blumen's room to be done, not the Koenig, but I was, it was the room I didn't expect. It, at... And the room that we've done is amazing. This week. Still has problems. Can I just tell you something really important? This is not a makeover show. I know that. Yeah. But you're complaining about... I, I wasn't saying I didn't love that room. I've... It'd be a great shame for you to sound ungrateful. Oh, I'm not ungrateful. I am just no, so shocked. Definitely don't want the to new just... management system you. to Dave. Uh, you've got no I'm idea what's going on. I'm coming across wrong if you think that I'm uh, being ungrateful, because I'm really uh, not. Um, I, I it really... sounds like that. No, not at all. I can't come in and wave a magic wand and transform 15 bedrooms and put a brand new kitchen. You now know what needs to happen. I do. But I need to tell you something that you're not going to like. I arranged for a new stove. You did? To come. And then when I got the engineer to come and survey the place, yeah. uh, unfortunately, he had to leave yeah. because he was going to shut the place down. Because there's practices that are taking place in there that aren't appropriate. You're saying the gas Again, systems? Or... The whole setup yeah. underneath there. Nothing's been changed in 13 years. Yeah. And it's on the verge of no. running legally. OK. Mm -hmm. Listen, I came here to help, but you need to help yourselves and you Absolutely. need to dig deep and stick together. OK? Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. OK. Thank you, Gordon. OK. Good night. Thank you. Alfie is Safe travelling. Man, that's hard work. Soon after I left, Lisa and Jonathan reverted to the old Vienna. This is something. 
That belongs here. Good that came with the house. What are you doing? You're insane. By changing the decor and bringing back the original menu. It's worse than it was. It looks horrible. They chose not to take my advice about running the inn properly. You'll listen to me about what should be going on in the kitchen. And as a result, their reputation in town remains the same.